What's up, KNR Squad? Yes. It's your boy, Batman Reef. And your girl, Kristen. And today, we are going to be reacting to your anonymous questions for us, statements about us, and you guys are going to remain anonymous. So, mm. we actually posted on our Instagram telling you to submit your questions or statements anonymously. Mm. We use an app called NGL, which is short form for not gonna lie. Not gonna lie! And we actually never saw any names, no usernames, nothing like that, so we don't know who or what is asking these questions or putting in these statements. Mm -hmm. For context, this is what the app looks like and how your anonymous questions or statements show up. So it might get a little bit crazy today. Damn. What do you think they have to say? Listen, man, at the end of the day, we don't know because it's anonymous. <laughs> Anybody can say anything. You might get some hate, you might get some love, mm. you might get some freaks. Right. All sorts of things. So if you guys are here right now and you are this far in the video, at this point, mm. What are they supposed to do? Y'all gotta hit that like button. Stop playing with us. And if you don't, I'm gonna <laughs> grab you by your head and I'm gonna shake it. And I'm gonna slap you two times. Okay, baby. And then we're gonna be friends again. Oh. Hit that like button nice. for me. Show me some love. All right, let's go. The first anonymous person okay. asks, <laughs> will you ever make an OnlyFans? Damn. We getting, we getting straight there. <laughs> We're going straight there. Will we ever make an OnlyFans? <laughs> I mean, we already be doing OnlyFans ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess just privately. Private, you know? Yeah, so what? with OnlyFans, there's such a stigma attached to it. Because you can use it for so many things. But mm -hmm. I feel like people just stigmatize it to be very sexual. Right, right. Geared. And then I feel like if we said we had one, they'd be like, oh, what are you guys doing on there? And then you'd subscribe there. to see something that you probably wouldn't see. Maybe we would do it for like videos yeah like if we can't post videos on youtube or something we'll be like yo subscribe to the only fans to watch right but i guess they want to know like i guess this question is more geared towards you yeah would whoa you, <laughs> would you ever like you know do some bikinis <laughs> some you know no i don't think i would ah name all your exes oh <laughs> so this is not a confession but it's a question, though. But it's a question. But I wouldn't do that. I can't do that. No way. Just because y'all so gonna, like, that's too much personal stuff. Y'all gonna go look up this person, that person. I feel like it's an like invasion FBI. of their privacy. Yeah, because they're FBI agents. You know what Facts. I'm saying? They're gonna find out everything. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. Kristen, I am a lesbian, and I have always found you so extremely attractive Damn. and exceptionally gorgeous. You make me wish all women loved women. But it's also amazing to see a black man like Reef loving and treating a black woman how they deserve to be treated. All the best to you both. That comment is so sweet. All it around is so sweetness. sweet. But hold up! <laughs> yo, 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 you trying to, yo, you wanna fight, bruh? Yo, this is my thing. Oh my gosh. Talking about you on her. Okay. I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> you get a little protective over here. You know? Would you ever like dibble and dabble on that side? You're asking me the question. I mean, she, basically, she's asking. Have I ever? Ooh. Ooh. Have you ever? You know the question. You know the answer to that. <laughs> I don't. They want to know the answer. I don't want to know the answer. I have never dibbled and dabbled into that. Next question. But would you kiss another girl? Not in a romantic way, because I'm not into females. But maybe as a friend. But like, let's say like a girl was like, oh my god, you're so pretty and like, I just want to kiss you right now. That's a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stranger danger. What are you talking about? <laughs> but hey, right, yeah. it's all love. Yeah. I love my girlies. Nah, fine. Okay. Okay, well, you're not off the hook. I'm not off the hook. Because someone said, Reef, I have a crush on you. Ooh. Damn. Who could that be? I have no idea. They're anonymous, but... <laughs> You know, I get it. You know what I mean? Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now I'm in rough shape, but even in my rough shape, I'm still sweet. You get me? You are very sweet. Yeah. It's just so weird to hear someone say that they have a crush on you. Like, Does that make you feel jealous? A, that... little, a little. But in a good way. Mm. It's like, I got them. You mine. Mm. You know? So it's like, I got what they want. Mm. Kind of feels nice. <laughs> I mean, depends. If you act up, I might have to go that way. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Send me a DM, hit me up. You know, you want my number? Give me a call. It feels like I got the nicest dress in the store before anyone else could grab it, and then it was sold out. There's like only one of one. 
That is a good reference. Yeah, because I love shopping. Whoa. Ow. So that means you love looking for men? Because <laughs> you love shopping around? No. Nah. You took it too far. <laughs> you took it too far. All right, I was just too going far. along with your reference. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Kristen, can we see your souls? Oh, souls like feet. <laughs> I literally I thought, thought it meant like your soul, yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, soul yeah, would be for OnlyFans, right? It can be for OnlyFans. It can be for right now. <laughs> <laughs> they so this person is into feet. They probably have a feet fetish. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But hey, they're asking, can they see your souls? I feel like I seen something, somebody say something the other day about your feet too. What? Oh, yeah. They, they did, right? They tagged me in a story saying like, saying like, they really liked my feet. Something like that. I yeah. can't remember the specifics, but. Like they're mesmerized by your, the way that your feet look or Maybe something. we should show yours. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what you think? Nah, bro, my foot's dry. <laughs> <laughs> this question is for you. Okay. Reef. Yeah. Why your ass kind of fat? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What? I will be the first to admit. Yo, that it's is fat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh! Big. Bro, you know relax. Yeah, this is OD. Y'all got too like, far. If I could just Pause. <laughs> I'm pro was that a girl or a guy? Does it? It doesn't say. Damn. I don't know. That's tripping, bro. What do you have to say to that? I don't. I'm. I don't. I don't look in the mirror and be like, "Yo, damn, it's fat." How would I know that? But they're asking a question. Why <laughs> is it fat? I don't know. It's, it looks normal to me. I feel like every athlete, like look, 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 every guy that's an athlete or something, mm -hmm. got like. That's true. Bigger legs, so like the legs is attached to the glutes. They be you know working out a lot, lot of squats. Mm -hmm. Especially soccer like, guys. I feel like it's the soccer men. I feel like maybe that's why, but I'm not saying that it's fat because I don't see that it's like I don't look at it like that, bro. That's so weird. Christian be taking pictures sometimes <laughs> and sending it to me like, oh, look at your butt, bro. I'm like, what? Like, you know when girls love to just touch their man's butt? Like, that's me. All right, this is for both of us. Okay. Who's more freakier in bed? <sighs> I, I'll say this. I feel like you. You want it more, but I explore more. <laughs> Bro. If that makes sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. So there's like, there's a threshold there. Bro, I feel like I we're at different spectrums. I don't know what you're going on about. Yes, you do. Yeah, she's more freaky, man. I, I, hey, I never said I was. I'm saying you're more freaky, you know? You're just saying there's two ends of the spectrum. I'm normal, you're not. No. <laughs> no. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> this one is for the both of us. Okay. KNR, I feel like you guys are mean. Mean? <sighs> I've asked for help multiple times and you guys never paid me any mind. Wow, oh. so that's crazy. We are we are far from me people, all right? Mm. I'm a very loving person. I don't I'm feel like I'm loving. mean. I don't feel like you're mean. Um, sorry if you feel that way, man. You just gotta understand we have millions of DMs. Um, you know, we get to what we can get to. Yeah. You know, we try to talk to as many people as we can. People can vouch for that as well. Mm -hmm. That they always get. I'm talking to them, vibing with them. But I'm so sorry you feel that way. You know what I mean? So. Oh, I feel so bad that you feel yeah. that way. And like, I just, I don't want you to think that we're mean people because we're not. I feel like we're really nice people yeah. and we love our family here at the K&R squad and I'm sorry that you feel that we couldn't help you. Um, I don't know what kind of help you needed but we always try to help as much as we possibly humanly can. Okay, this is for both of us. Okay. Not a confession but you and Reef are my inspiration and you guys have saved me from really dark times. Wow. I love you both so much. Wow. You see, that's, you that's, that's what, that's why I get up every day and find a way to shoot because it's like it's bigger than us. You know, I know what I mean? There's so many people that send us messages saying like, you know, I was having a terrible day mm -hmm. and just getting a laugh. It's not even like a smile. Even. Just a smile, a little laugh changes their day. That's very true. And you guys are probably wondering, like, yo, Chris and Rhea, how you guys keep doing this? And we get this all the time from people. You guys are the reason I'm telling you, like, these messages is what lift us up. 
And believe it or not, like the hatred that we get, the amount of love that we get on top of that mm -hmm. just outshines the hate. So yeah. it's like it keeps us motivated and keeps us going. And if we could put a smile on just one person's face for the yeah. day, <laughs> I think that's what matters and counts the most. Facts. So whoever sent that message, yes. just know we love you and we love the fact that you support us and you show up every single day. Mm -hmm. So you right here. And if you are still going through dark times, we are praying for you. We are in our prayers and yes. our thoughts. KNR squad forever. Dark times don't last long. KNR, this is for both of us. There are so many great YouTube channels, but you guys are the goats <laughs> content wise. More movies, please. Ah, Ooh, we appreciate you. We I appreciate like that you, you said movies. Thank you so much. We try so hard you. to keep you guys entertained. Oh, I thanks. still like to do like what we're doing. So I feel like it keeps us refreshed, energized, and then you can feel that through the screen. So nah, big facts. We nah, appreciate, we appreciate that for sure. You know, there's a lot of content creators out there mm -hmm. and Anybody who creates content, they are the goats at what they do. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. all in our different lanes, but guess what? We're all goats. Facts. That's the way that I see it. Yeah. Because just doing this, it's hard. Movies? <laughs> Loading. Yeah. Trust me. We got some, some, some stuff in the bag. Oh, is that what they meant by more movies? Like they want actual movies like our yeah. films? Yeah. Oh, trust me. We need to release more. Mm. For sure. So stay mm. tuned because we've got some special coming. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this one is for Reef. It's one a little um, out there. <laughs> okay, Reef. I want to suck your BBC. I hope it's big. <laughs> Whoa! Hold up. Yo, that's. Whoever you are, you need to chill out. I mean, you could want to do it, that's but you will never of, be able to do it. That's out of pocket. <laughs> that's why they said, yo, I was waiting for this anonymous thing. <laughs> That is wild. That's why that is wild. it's anonymous, yeah, because you could just say whatever. Well, unfortunately, it's not unfortunate, <laughs> but I'm just going to say unfortunately for you. I got my sweet queen. I got my wife, the mother of my unborn child. No, oh, you're going that far. <laughs> okay. She the only one mm -hmm. that going to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we go. That BBC man. All right. To the both Chris and Reach. Okay. But especially Kristen shows off too much the fact that she's engaged. It's cringe. I'm engaged. Da, 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 da. Like, do you do that? I'll keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you mean. Do you show off a lot that you're engaged? How could you? You don't have a ring. No, I mean, <laughs> you just have to say it. And when I'm married, I'll be like, yo, Agwan. Yeah. Yo, what's up? <laughs> it's me. You know what I'm saying? I do think that men should also get an engagement ring, though. So why didn't you get me one? You're right, we could have started a new trend. You could have, but you did it. You're right. Could have, would have, should have, but did it. And then I guess in our YouTube titles, we always put fiance or fiance without something. Okay, this one's a lot. Mm. So, Kristen, Reef only liked you because you are light skin, you have no bum, skinny AF, can't cook, <laughs> and you're rude AF, especially to Mama Joan. It's a lot of lust from Reef. Little love. No wonder it took so many years for him to propose. Damn. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry you feel that bro, way. Bro, this is one of your biggest haters, bro. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Do you want to respond first? What do you need to <laughs> respond for, bro? Like, okay, they can say, say whatever they want to say, bro. That is the <laughs> biggest hater. Like, what are they talking about right now? Okay, all I'll say to this is that I think that this comment says more about you than it does about me Perfect. or Reef. Because the fact that you are listing off a bunch of things in terms of like physical attributes, I feel like you have a specific beauty standard that you feel that people need to meet or they're not worthy of love. Right. Um, but I'm sorry you feel that way. I'll keep you in my prayers. And I've never mean to Mama Joan. Um, that's prank. crazy. <laughs> like y'all don't know nothing, bro. Like you gotta just relax. Oh gosh. They're telling me what I like. Yeah. And who I should like and what I should like. Yeah. <sighs> it's sad. It. It's not even worth entertaining. <laughs> That's true. Okay. This is for both of us. Okay. To be honest, I was always jealous of you. Or is this for you? I, I think don't know. I don't know who this is for. Uh, your life seems perfect, whereas mine is nothing that's great. 
Oh, that oh, is wow. not true. That can't be true. That and is, our life is far from perfect. That is definitely not true. Yeah. I mean, y'all gotta understand, we came from a place of nothing. literally nothing. <laughs> um, I mean, if you guys don't know, I'll let you know, like my personal house, the house that you guys see us in, the Mama Jones house growing up, that house burned down twice, mm -hmm. all right? And we were homeless for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? These are things that, you know, long stories, but like things weren't always great. Like we had to work, me and Chris had to work to get to where we are today. And Facts. it's not like that. It's not about you seeing what other people have because your time is gonna come when your life is gonna change as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you're in a bad time now, but it's not always gonna be bad. When you become, quote-unquote, successful, um, or meet some goals in your life that you've always wanted to meet, it's it means so much more when you've come from nothing. Right. So, make that your story. Make that your motivator. Make that your destination. 100%, but the biggest thing is that you woke up. You woke mm -hmm. up and you wake up every day and God provided a life for you. Yeah, it might not be the perfect life that you envision right now, but one of the craziest things is, is watching people and be like, yo, they have this and I don't have that and comparing. Mm -hmm. Never compare because you're still blessed. Facts. I'll tell you that you are blessed. All right, this is to the both of us. Um, why do I get the feeling that the house you're filming in is not your real home? No bedside tables, a weird sofa, etc. Damn, guys, this is our real home. This we is our bought home. this home. This is our home. We are very we, minimal. We people. own this home. Yeah. I listen. I have like nightmares of bedside tables when I was young. Having a bedside table, either a, I would junk it up completely. It would be of no use to me. Mm -hmm. B, I would just keep my water bottles there, which is probably, you know, helpful for right now. But then C. I just feel like there's no need for them. When we first bought this house, <laughs> our idea was to get in the house yeah. and we were going to sell it or rent it out um, two years down the line, move to the States. Four years later, we are still here. Yeah. That didn't work out. So we were trying our best. This is the real life story. We were trying our best to limit the amount of stuff that we have so that when we're ready to leave and go all the way to the States, it wasn't a hassle of bringing so many things, mm -hmm. right? And so we said, you know what? We're not gonna do the dressers. We're not gonna do all that stuff. And that's the way that we've been living ever since. We've grown to live with literally no dresser. It's lit it's so nice No bedside though. table. So. It's, it, I feel like it's good. The minimal yeah. life is nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well. That brings us to the end of this video. That brings us to the end. Some spicy questions. There's even more questions popping up right yeah. now. <laughs> but we can't get to all the questions. Maybe we'll do a part two. We should. Yeah. If this video gets how many likes, we can do a part two. 10K. <clears throat> in 24. Yeah. 10K in 24 hours. If you guys can't do that, there would not be a part two. That's simple. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> So thank you for submitting your questions or statements anonymously. Yeah. For those of you who are silent haters, uh You don't even need to address the haters. We love you guys. You guys yeah. fuel us. You get me? Yes. We love <coughs> all of you, hater or not. Thank you for supporting us and watching the channel. Facts, facts, Stay tuned facts, for facts, possible part two and hit that like facts, button. Facts, 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 See y'all later. If you're still here and you haven't hit, <laughs> I'm gonna come in your dream oh. and I'ma tap, 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 tap. Your jaw. Bye <laughs> right, guys. Here we go. Go ahead. I wanna put a rush on you Hope I ain't putting too much on you Way more than a crush on you And you love it when I touch on you Yeah, I feel why I ain't take time